Today I'm working on the Nova crochet cover up skirt. Take your hip measurement. My client's measurement is 43, but I'm going to work with 41. And make a loop. I'm going to work on a chain. But before that, I'm using a three millimeter hook. and Ali's cotton gold tweed so let's dive in work a chain long enough to wrap around your hip area and please take measurements my chain is ready i'm going to slip stitch This is it. Chain one, two, you're going to work a double crochet. So going to the next loop with a double crochet. Work a double crochet along the entire chain. I'll meet you when I'm almost at the end of the chain. I am coming to the end of my row one of double crochets. And you're going to go into the very first loop and slip stitch. This is our row one. We have more to go. Chain one, two, turn your work and go into the next loop and work a double crochet. Continue working a double crochet until you have a total of three rows. I'm getting done with my third row of double crochets. Come in the very first loop and slip stitch. My three rows are ready. And now I'm going to create a separation because I'm going to be working in different parts of this skirt separately. So get your stitch markers, make a count, come into the next from the where you stopped from your double crochet, put a stitch marker. Just one double crochet before or one double crochet after. Make a, uh, a similar count this side so I skipped mine as you can see I have this stitch marker here and the other stitch marker the other side so that is my in between so I'm going to come back to where I had stopped from chain two sorry I'm going to remove this stitch marker or I can always leave it here so come into the next loop and work a double crochet so chain one two skip one I mean skip two loops one two come into the third put a double crochet then another double crochet so the pattern here is two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two two double crochets so we are just going to work on the front part of our piece or the back part we are working on them separately like that so that's two double crochets chain two two double crochets
I'm reaching my next stitch marker soon. Chain one, two, skip two loops to the third with a double crochet, then another double crochet, chain two, skip one, two into the third. Okay, I have one last left. And another double crochet. So this is the first part of it. Chain one, two, turn your work. Work a double crochet in the next loop. Chain two, one, two. Go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. So continue with that pattern until you've worked a total of 30 to 35 rows. My 35 rows are ready. I have just one left. Chain one and cut off the yarn. We are going to work on this other side as well. So come around your stitch marker, check out. Um, you're not going to work on the stitch that is holding the stitch marker. So skip that, come into the next. Enter your yarn, pull through, and create a chain two, which is going to act like our first double crochet. And then go into the next loop with a double crochet, chain one, two, skip one, two, go into the third with a double crochet. And into the next with a double crochet just the way you've been doing it on the other side chain one two work two double crochet so I'm going to speed up mine I'll meet you at the end of this row I'm getting to the end of this row Chain one, two, skip one, two into the next with two double crochets. I'm done with this row. I'm going to continue working on this piece. That's where we worked on the front part. So you're going to chain one, two, and then turn your work. And repeat the same process until you have a total of 35 rows. I am doing a medium, a medium sized piece. So you can do rows of your choice. You don't have to go with my exact measurements. And like I said, the entire piece is dictated by your hip measurement. So I'm not going to write down what a small should chain, what a medium should make or a large. You have to take your hip measurement because that's what is going to dictate how the piece is going to fit you so i am going to meet you when i have my full rows all of them I am getting to the end of my final row. And we are now going to clean up the corners using a double crochet stitch. So 
so chain one two that's like your first double crochet and in each double crochet you're going to put two double crochets so this is your double crochet going to the next put a double crochet and a double crochet I am going to fasten this so that I don't take up a lot of your time and I'll meet you at the end. So I'm almost at the end of this row or this side of the piece. Remove your stitch marker and continue working the double crochets so when you put your one double crochet come in the double crochet where our stitch mark was and put a double crochet and then skip from that go into the middle of the double crochet and put a double crochet to give it a turn and then continue working the same thing we have been doing with this other side and it's the same thing you're going to do on the other side of the piece so i'm going to fasten my video i'll meet you when most of my everything is done So one side is done, cut off the yarn, extra yarn. You can see how it looks like that. You're going to work this same thing, this side of the piece. And I'll meet you when mine is ready. So both of my sides are ready and I'm going to crochet a string to pass through the waist. So make a loop. Enter your hook into the loop and make a chain long enough to fit your waist area. I'm going to meet you when mine is ready. my string is ready and i'm now going to pass it through the waist of my skirt you can use the second row you can use the first row but make sure to make a count and make sure it's in the center unless you want to tie your string from sideways so i am finding this as my center I'm going to fasten this part because I believe most of us know how to enter the strings. I'm going to keep passing the string every under two double crochets. I skip two, I enter under two double crochets. So I'll meet you there. My cover up skirt is almost ready. I'm just missing a little detail and those are the strings for this area so let's work on that and get done with it and with my strings i keep doubling them because this is a dk sized yarn and i want my string to be a bit thicker so you can do it that way or whichever way you want to do yours My string is ready, now I'm going to fix it on the sides. I'm going to speed up this as well. So I can say that our piece is absolutely ready. And I appreciate you guys for your support you've given this channel. Thank you for those who have given me super thanks. I appreciate you guys. 
and please like this video comment share it will help my algorithm i appreciate you guys so i'm going to just speed up everything have a good time i love you guys so much and thank you so much if you're not subscribed please subscribe to this video bye meet you next time